What's happening, people? It's the homie Smith, the 400, one half of straight off the Ave. Shout out to my co-host, Mr. Dubbins, and this is Smith, the reaction. Right now, man, what I got for y'all is <laughs> the homie Mark Curry speaking on the fact that Diddy had them freak offs with them men's. Excuse me. Diddy had freak offs with men. We're going to get right into this. Because he spoke on this before, but we're going to get right on right on into this. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay, so Puffy was accused of being with men. Mm. He was also accused of liking to watch uh, Cassie be with men. Did you see any signs of this when you were around him? I, only thing I really saw was I was like, yo, I, I just can't have uh, um, you know certain kind of men, like uh, around like uh, like when I want something to eat, I have a certain kind of man that goes and gets my food, or if I'm going to take a flight and I need some underwear for my house, I have a certain kind of man that goes to my house and get the underwear. If I just want to get my car washed, I have a certain kind of man that goes and does it. And it was almost like the, these certain kind of men were like uh, being used as, um, they just do boys. People who always would do whatever he would ask them to do. So I seen a lot of that. Um, I seen a whole bunch of, uh, uh, of things that, that you would question, a lot of questionable people, um, people with reputations that are known for, um, and I, I don't like to discriminate on no one's sexual preference because I can't say that just because someone has a different lifestyle than mine that, that they're wrong. And I have to say, you know, that's just what that person, you know, that's how they choose to live. And that doesn't affect how I'm living. So I don't tend to get involved in a lot of that stuff, but you, you do see it a lot in the industry. And you can start off with, um, the fact that everyone likes to, to date the same female. It's like, hmm. it's like, okay, um, how do you feel having sex with my girlfriend and then still being my friend? Or did we not, it's almost like we both just had sex with her without being, you know, it's just a whole bunch of nastiness that goes on. Hmm. As far as him being with men, um, that's a rumor that I've heard. And it's also, um, I, from with my own eyes, I never saw him uh, in the act of being with a man, but I saw some questionable men in a room and I saw a lot of <laughs> smiling and giggling and all of that kind of stuff as far as what they did after the drinks and all of that or going out. I don't know nothing about it. I went into a few parties where I walked in and I saw some celebrities sitting on uh, Clive Davis lap type stuff, you know, but when I looked and I was like, wow, I see what's going on. <laughs> Maybe this ain't the room that I'm supposed to be in. And then I would leave. Like, it'd be clubs you go to. And on the top floor of this club, it'd be celebrities, Russell Simmons, all of those high-end celebrities, Maxwell, all of those people is up there. And when you go up there, that's like VIV. And nobody really is getting up there unless you're an artist or someone or you're with someone. And when I got up there, I saw a lot of that, but I also knew that I can go back downstairs and I'll just wait on y'all downstairs. This is not the room for me. <laughs> I guess there was a situation where he had Kim Porter's phone tapped. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you talk to me about that a little bit? All right. So I'm in the studio and uh, up at daddy house and, uh, they sitting there and they like, yo, um, Shakir Stewart had called Kim Porter's phone and he was like, how's my kids? How's my baby? Something like that. And I think that's exactly what it was. And he took offense to it because it was another man calling his, his wife asking how are his kids, like they're his kids were his kids. And it had been rumored that Shakir had relationships with a lot of people's women, a lot of people date, because in the industry, you remember, 
Everybody was sleeping with everybody. Nasty. It wasn't something that wasn't known. This girl used to be with him and then she was with him. All of this stuff is going on in the industry. So, so yeah, he was in there and uh, he was hearing Shakira Stewart's conversation with her. And I was like, how in the world is he listening to her phone? Like, how in the world? Then that's when I found out that he had her phone plugged up. And I don't know if he had some surveillance things in her house, but he knew everything this girl was doing. You know, every person she was talking to. It's, it's, it's insecurities. You know, insecurities. He was just insecure. Insecure people do those kind of things. And I guess there was a situation with L.A. Reid? With L.A. Reid, well, when he saw Shakira Stewart at L.A. Reid's wedding, that's when him and Shakira got into a confrontation. And, you know, uh, Shakira Stewart used to work right up under L.A. Reid at Hitco. You have to just do the history of it. Hitco was a production, a music production company. They had people like um, a lot of producers signed. They had um, uh, Beyonce was signed. Like they had writers and they had uh, producers. So in order to do a song like, let's say, with Beyonce, you would have to be a part of that Hitco that they gave a deal to that says, if you do the first single on Beyonce, this is gonna give us the opportunity to recoup the money that we gave you in an advance. So they'll give you 500,000 in advance, then give you a Beyonce single, and then now you're making the money back that they gave you, but you're, you're gonna do it because they're gonna allow you to do a Beyonce single. Shakira Stewart, worked over Hitco. So a lot of producers, he was able to help feed and put a, he put a lot of producers on. He put a lot of artists on during his time with being with Def Jam, really great guy. And, um, you know, really great guy. And um, that was L.A. Reid's right hand man when it came to that business. And that was the person that Puff had a problem with, you know, because of whatever the allegations of him um, sleeping with um, his his child's mother, which I think naturally everybody would, would would get upset if they found out that someone was having an affair or even thinking of having an affair with someone that you're involved with. You know, I think I wouldn't like it if somebody was trying to have an affair with my girl, but then at the same time, I would think about it and say, am I being everything that she needs in order to keep her contained? Like, is it me that she really likes or does she just like the way that I, I the things that I buy for her? So his relationships based more off of material things and monetary things. My relationship was based more off of love. I don't think he's ever been in a relationship that was based off of love. And I guess that's why he called himself love because love is something that he's definitely missing. Sheesh. So what happened with the situation where he ran into... Uh... Ran into him and hit him with the chair. Just what you just said. He walked in, they had their little words. He hit him with the chair. Hit him with the chair. And then, you know, but that's not nothing. It's hit him with a chair. He could have hit him with his fist. He could have hit him with anything else. He almost like threw a chair at him, which is almost like a, 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 a form of throwing a tantrum. You know, like little kids. Let me throw this chair at you. Like, how how you gonna, you know, hit somebody with a chair, I can move out the way. But yeah, he hit him with the chair. You knew their relationship wasn't one that was great. Because of course, if you're if you're sleeping or trying to sleep with my my child's mother, then we're gonna have a problem. If you're sneaking around my back doing it behind my back and and I'm just finding out about it through other people or even my female is telling me, hey, you know, whatever you're not getting, giving me, I'm getting it from over here from this person. That really makes you mad, especially when a female rubs it in on you. Sheesh. You don't know if she was rubbing it in like, hey, I'm sleeping with somebody else, whatever it may be, but whatever it was, he didn't like it. What's up? This is Cam Capone. And there you have it. So he's saying that he don't know what took place, but he does know, and he has been in the presence of some weird activities. 
You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people in the room, you know, doing a little too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, make of that what you will, as they would say, right? <laughs> Well, how y'all feel, man? Sign off in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. This Diddy thing is crazy, man. And Gene and Mark are going platform to platform. They on a tour right now. They on an info tour. They spilling this info out there. It's going to be interesting to see how 2024 unfolds with this whole Diddy situation. Because we only in January, people. We are only in January. And there's more to come. Allegedly. So let's see how that goes. But yeah, man, this has been Smister Reacts. Shout out to the subscribers. If you made it this far, go ahead, subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned. New videos all the time. Yeah. I'm out. Owie.